we all shine like stars in the heavens. Yep. It's it's a kind of a fanciful scripture, but but it's a beautiful scripture, and I liked it. So that's how this all that was my little story there. So and then the other the main thing to the other was um this has always been another favorite scripture is every good gift comes from above, and this church, like I say, is full of good gifts and and everything comes from above from our father of light so again the, the stars and then some say depending on the version will say nailed to a tree so hence the hands the piercings the tree and um and then of course the jesus fish <laughs> which actually i didn't know until after i sketched it that the jesus um was used in um very olden times after um christ finally died that um to identify one another because a lot of people were being persecuted they have a little secret Jesus symbol, and they'd say, oh, yeah, you got the Jesus symbol, okay, you're all right, so mm -hmm. they would, you know, identify each other sometimes by the Jesus symbol, and then just some of those are where the joy, hope, redemption, peace, those are, uh, we refer to as gifts of the Spirit, so they, um, these are all the good gifts that we have from God, and so that's my little story, <laughs> I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Me just looking at it for the first time, I mean, these colors are bold and bright. I mean, is that your kind of intention behind it? Why the bright colors? So that's actually my my style. Everything I do, mm -hmm. if I, yep. I have other murals on event, I have one of my business cards because I actually design handbags. <laughs> but yep. but everything is just over the top. Uh, my murals have always been like bold and colorful. My favorite artist is from the '70s, and you guys, Steve, you might remember. You wouldn't. You're too young. But Peter Max, mm -hmm. and he did very colorful uh over the top and uh paintings and uh the whole psychedelic kind of movement and it does kind of you know you kind of think well if you had i mean even as artistically that's that's my style but if you thought okay we have a white church and we have stone if you had just put something in browns and grays it kind of really wouldn't be noticeable but when mike and i were finishing up um you wouldn't believe the people that stopped by yeah. Just people that walk the streets and people that push in their kids or the people from the soup kitchen just, wow, wow. Yep. And it, it's, it's meant to catch the eye. Exactly. You know, so you'd mentioned before, I mean, the type of neighborhood you guys are in, you have, you know, it's just the type it's of neighborhood. It's pretty diversified. Exactly. So, do you think this will speak to that? We picture? sure pray it will. That's yep, we sure, yeah. that's the idea. Okay. We all went to church with our mom and dad or our grandma and grandpa and you know i got a catholic background mike was lutheran but things are changing and you kind of you need to draw in all different types of people we believe not to get preachy on you but this is our belief but christ reached out to everybody and we should too yep. and it, it doesn't say oh yeah you dress a little funny or oh right. you, you know this or that you got to reach out to everybody yep. you know what, what kind of message do you have to get when they see it um well that to me says a lot you know, every good gift. I know there's a lot of bad things in the world, you know, I, I, that's that's just the way the way things are, but, right. but we gotta remember every good thing comes from God. So that's like the, the, that's the message there that good can come of it. I think people think of God as a forceful being that's going to smite you at every time you do something wrong but that's not true he's given us good gifts all the time uh the hands speak out a lot you know because of christ and and how he died for us and whatnot so i'm thinking that's what i'm hoping but hey if people get more out of it if their imaginations tell them more if they